Hello Sagittarius, we're here with your love reading. So let's see what Spirit has to say in terms of what you should focus on during this reading. Let's see what are the messages from Spirit for Sagittarius in love. Will, ooh, something you have the willpower to do. Using your will, okay. Faith, oh beautiful. Will and faith, so staying the course on something. And darkness, okay, so darkness is going to come into play here. We also have with darkness the unexpected. We also have action and acceptance just because they fell over and then serendipity or sovereignty. Oh, sovereignty, I like that. Having your power, standing in your power, owning owning your life and owning your happiness, owning your relationship. Okay, so let's see what the mutual energy is between Sagittarius and their beloved. Sagittarius and their beloved. Mutual energy, okay. Oh, <laughs> well, these cards are flying out. A new beginning, Sagittarius, I love it. In the recent past, a new beginning. And look at this, unconditional love, the King of Cups, Scorpio, Aquarius, excuse me, Aquarius and Saturn energy, um, Capricorn. Um, but the King of Cups loving each other unconditionally, deeply, not really speaking about it too much, being very calm, but that is Scorpio love, Phoenix rises from the ashes, kind of love forever and ever and unconditional. The Ace of Cups, that's how your person views the situation currently that you have a new beginning in love. So that can be within a an existing relationship because love is reborn all the time. There's cycles, you're finishing out a cycle uh, and you have a new cycle that's really gorgeous coming in here. So it looks like some new adventures. Let's see how your person views you. Sagittarius. The world card is also your card. Sagittarius energy from the standpoint of the ninth house of astrology. Ruling different cultures and foreign travel. Your person views you as somebody who is upset. Well now why would they think you were upset? Okay, how do they feel in their heart space? How does your person feel in their heart space, Sag? How does your person feel in their heart space? There we go. Oh, wow. Broken hearted. Three of swords. Okay. The ace of swords, that can be a reunion and clarity. The truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Okay, Sag, what's going on here? Well, we will find out. Okay. There were a lot of cards that spilled, so we're going to take a close look at those after we do the main spread. Okay, the Magician card, this is Gemini energy. So we have uh, Libra energy, we have Air Sign energy, now we have the Magician, which is Virgo and Gemini energy, and the Eight of Swords is Gemini, or Five of Swords is Aquarius, I'm sorry. Okay, so let's see here. We have Spirit is recommending that you have a lot of communication, that you talk, you you really, you rush in to talk to each other. Spirit is saying there is somebody, there's, there is, your person sees you as wounding them really badly, Sag. They feel as though you're wounded, they feel as though they're wounded. All right, victory, all right, is your outcome. So that's gorgeous, okay. So that victory in love comes after, and a new beginning comes after a heartbreak of some sort. So I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna clarify these cards. So sovereignty is all about you taking your power, standing in your power. Why is a sovereignty card here for beautiful Sag for this reading? Defending yourself, but standing your ground. Just, you know, really standing in your power. That is, you know, really feeling very dignified about things, being very elegant about how you express yourself. What is a card of willpower? Three of coins. The willingness to work within the relationship. Acceptance. What are you accepting here? 
Ah, accepting marriage or commitment or a different philosophy, you know, really trying to work together to blend what you both want from the relationship, having the faith also. You have fire in your belly, Sagittarius. You do have faith. You have faith that this love is very real. What action does Spirit say that you should take? What is the action that should be taken at this time, Sagittarius, in this relationship? Studying the situation. This is, you know, pages are about communication. Looking at it in a very, you know, using your willpower to look at this in a very, very accepting way with each other. Philosophically, because this card of the Hierophant is that you may have very different beliefs. And chances are you do it to some extent because of different backgrounds, possibly different heritages. So where is the darkness coming in? Because that darkness caused some heartbreak. What is the darkness here for our Sag friends? Somebody is very strategic. Somebody, you know, we're getting here, Sag, that you or your person and it's interesting because i don't think either of you really are i just think you're facing differences but let's see what else what else is the emperor has a big chess piece so it can be perceived as game playing okay so what is this game that your person feels is being played now love marriage we had marriage twice so if this is a third party situation for some of you it looks as though your person needs to know what the heck is going on. Your person looks as though they have a very, um, both of you have a high moral cal, you know, personality. You're both very, um, you're both very uh, idealistic. You want to do the right things. Sometimes we fall in love by accident. We don't mean to. Um, but it does look like there's something about a marriage that's coming in here as a darkness. So it could be a hidden marriage. It could be somebody not really talking about an ex or a former spouse in a way that was very enlightening. There may be still love left for somebody from the past that your partner hasn't really resolved and it's affecting the two of you. So let's see, what is the unexpected here? A Queen of Wands, okay. I'm not really seeing, I'm sad this could be an Aries Queen for you. We have Aries here twice, so it doesn't look like it's necessarily another woman, though classically in the Tarot, the Queen of Wands is another woman. The Tower card. So this is going to differ for different people, but let's let's pull a few more here. Let's see what else. What is about? What's unexpected about this? What is the darkness? So it's a shocking moment, a realization that somebody here is being very strategic about love, and it has to do with a Queen of Wands. Who's the Queen of Wands? Ah, uh, somebody. Okay. So somebody hasn't really dealt with a breakup. There's, that's what I thought. There's some residual feelings about a relationship that was left behind to start a new beginning, and yet that person is haunting the relationship. Okay, so that's how I see this. I'm, I'm really going to stop there because I think that's very clearly, it's a very clear story in my book. So it looks as though there's been a new beginning in a relationship and yet somebody is pining for someone from the past. Now, Sag, this could be you or your person or the pining from the past is hurting both of you, which I think is the case. So let's clarify and see what's going here. Letting go of the past is going to be really important to maintaining your sovereignty, using willpower, you know, and acceptance of the situation. The heart wants what the heart wants. And so what it really says is probably accepting that a lover or a lover must accept that you're still getting over something. Because, you know, a lot of times we don't get over the bitterness of, say, a divorce for years. And, you know, it impacts our, our new relationship. So it looks as though the two of you have great wisdom, though. It looks as though you do have the willpower to overcome this. Here's what we get. So for clarifier for the world card, what you thought was a completed cycle isn't quite over. There's still 
it looks as though one or both of you still have feelings for an ex that you have not talked about. You've embarked on this new relationship, and yet the hidden factor is there's you know a past history that that is holding both of you back because that's mutual energy. So it could hold both of you back because one of you feel that way. Five of Cups. There's sadness that this relationship maybe you know, isn't what you thought it would be. You're both feeling very defensive. But again, I don't see that as necessary. This looks like a beautiful, beautiful relationship with the cards of, you know, winning, the cards of new love, unconditional love. I feel very much that you could be matched quite beautifully. But you're having this sort of shock shocking sort of realization that both of you have feelings from the past that are maybe getting in the way. So the Ace of Cups has clarified by healing while moving forward. Okay, so we can heal. We can do two things at once, right? So what that's really saying, Sag, is that your person is still healing from someone from the past, but they want to come home to you. The Chariot card is, honey, I'm home. I love you. The Ace of Cups is right there. I know I'm still a little wounded. I've got some bruises. They see you as a person who's really upset. So this also speaks to me very loudly of the two of you beginning a very committed relationship in which an ex is actually causing a lot of problems, causing a lot of drama. If I were looking at the fairy oracle, I would think it was a queen of bedlam over here. But there, this person from the past, us an ex is getting, is really interfering in a present relationship. Your person wants the sun or the death. <laughs> I, so they want to be happy. If they are not happy, they will cut the relationship off. They will end the relationship. So they do feel as though a transformation is necessary and that in essence, they need to, they want a stable relationship with you. That this person definitely wants to feel that stability of Capricorn energy, very practical, very down to earth energy with this energy of the Three of Wands, really having something to look forward to. So sometimes it's very difficult when people, you know, come together after what has been a catastrophic marital situation. Okay, look at this. Your person is healing their heart. They do want a new beginning. Your person is letting go of the past. They are already arriving in this world energy, which we see here. There's wisdom. Beautiful. You may be dealing with a Taurus, Sagittarius. Um, this is Taurus energy. This person's very grounded. Look at this. They view you as very grounded because you're the Capricorn Queen that's very, very, very um, compatible with the Taurus King energy. So it really speaks to the fact that your person is feeling as though this can be taken care of in very practical matters. The two of you standing in your power, the two of you having faith, you know, that you can overcome this unforeseen obstacle. Why do we have the Ace of Swords here? Victory, look at you, Sagittarius. That's Leo energy, the Ace of Swords. You have great clarity about how to get a victory. What's hidden here is a Page of Pentacles. Sometimes that can be a child. This can represent money that's paid to uh, for support, anything like that. It could be money being received from support, but it really speaks to the fact that there is an abundance in your relationship, even though there's a relationship that you've walked away from, and both of you have walked away from a relationship. Both of you are somewhat haunted by um, the ghosts of love past. But what we see here is taking a very practical approach, very pragmatic, being very grounded, very down to earth, start small, don't overpromise, and just leave the past behind, try to leave those emotions behind. Why do we have the Ace of Wands? I mean, excuse me, the Ten of Wands. Letting go of the past. And this is what Spirit is telling you to do. Letting go of the past, releasing the burden. You've already moved on from this. Just let go and come forward in this relationship very quickly, very rapidly. 
you know, that's how you get a victory. Look at, we have this chariot running towards this six of wands, this chariot poised to run towards this outcome card for this reading. So it's a great outcome. The two of you have all this beautiful happiness and joy, even though you're having to overcome somebody who tries to cause chaos, somebody that's been left behind. Yes, victory after heartbreak. Victory when you're able to really be cool, calm, collected and have great clarity with this Aquarius energy really being sort of above it all just being above it all and look at we have the eight of wands clarifying the eight of wands and we have the strength card the strength card clarifying the passion in this situation you know spirit is telling you that there really is not another person there, the worry was that, you know, that somehow this relationship couldn't be developed because somebody else was getting in the way. And look at that. I just turned up that that uh, full card again. Full card here. So what I'm seeing, Sagittarius, is that one or both of you have left past relationships. It does look like your person unexpectedly did not really tell you so much about a spouse that is toxic. A spouse that's still in love with them that would try to win them at any cost, but they, it is safe. It's safe to love, and um, that is what I see for your Sagittarius. Let's go ahead and get like a little mini Celtic here for you. A little mini Celtic in terms of what's the advice for Sagittarius in terms of their beloved ex-spouse. What's the advice? I think that you already know. We have this little, you know, we have willpower and acceptance, all this good energy. But let's see. The practical advice is five of cups. Leave it alone. You know, tell your, give your person support. Tell them that you're sorry. Five of cups, five of cups. We've seen that a couple of times. So it says, be supportive of your person's pain. You know, just acknowledge it. You don't have to do anything really major. You shouldn't go overboard. Page of Wands, encourage them to keep continuing on their path of healing. You know, throwing caution to the winds, investing in your relationship, having fun. The Four of Pentacles, you know, really staying put and really staying grounded. Holding back from the, the former spouse. Really, you know, really understanding that you should not get involved in this. That's the advice to you, Sag. Is it support your person emotionally. Help them see the joy of day-to-day -day life. and Just have fun chatting. The Four of Coins, stay out of it. That's you holding yourself back from the situation. It's a very intelligent form is our stability. Um, it speaks to the fact that this person has devil energy, the five of swords. They are going to cause drama and they could even call you. They could even call you. But what we're seeing here is that Spirit is recommending that you simply hand the phone to uh, your significant other. We have the King of Wands here. Let your person deal with it. Don't even, if you pick up the phone, you're home, this ex or somebody calls, they call you, they want to talk to you, you just say, just a minute, this is, you need to talk to and the King of Wands here. So there's how you handle it. Sagittarius, it's been a joy. Take care. Lo sending you love from Chicago since I'm back and tell me where you're from. Thanks, Sag.